Hey there, my name is David. On this episode, I'm going to go over everything you need to know about Hascap honeyberries, which I have behind me here. So I have three Hascap honeyberries. I've got one here, I've got one here, and one here. These are all different varieties. I have a Woj Tech, I have a Honey Bee, and a Blue Moon. This is important because you actually need to have different varieties to pollinate your honeyberries. So what is a honeyberry you might be asking? It's this kind of weird berry. It looks kind of like a blueberry but they are kind of a taste a mixture of a raspberry and a blueberry, something like that. Now the taste profile does vary quite a bit based on the different variety. So this one here is actually more of a tree variety. It grows vertical. So you can see the height here. It'll get somewhere between five and seven feet tall. Where these other two varieties, the uh, Blue Moon and the Woj Tech that I have, there are about 12 varieties if you're wondering, there's probably more than that. But yeah, these ones grow in more of a spherical bush kind of shape. But yeah, some, the, the, the bigger the berries, the more sweet they get and the less sour they get. These two bushes produce small berries. Um, this one's oval, Blue Moon is in the round circle. I think that's kind of where it got its name. This one, they're more oval shaped like this, but they're really sour. And these ones, this Russian variety, the Woj Tech, is incredibly sweet. So something to note, if you're gonna pick out uh, honey berries, you wanna get, I mean, if you're looking for something really sweet, you wanna get ones that are um, larger in size. Now these are really easy berry to grow. You don't really have to do much. I mean, if you want to fertilize them, I don't, but if you want to you use a 10, 10, 10 fertilizer and you don't really have to prune them. You can see this one's just starting to kind of take off. Um, it's getting its vertical growth. This one will grow nice and tall. This one's round. If you do want to uh, duplicate these, you can just take a clipping and put it in water and just let it sit for a long time until the roots pop out. Then you can put that in the ground. You can propagate it that way. But um, yeah, these are really easy berry to, to deal with. I mean, I have a bit of grass that grows in here. But aside from that, like they're pretty uh, disease resistant. There's not really any pests that get on these and they produce a lot of berries. And the good thing about this, they produce berries before anything else. So I have a ton of berries on this thing. This isn't its prime right now, the Woj Tech. You get berries on this before even the earliest strawberries, like at least three or four weeks before. So my strawberries are just starting to come in right now and I've got like a huge, like I could probably harvest I don't know, a pound or so, two pounds of berries off this thing right now, which is pretty crazy. The honeyberry is multiple different names. It's obviously the honeyberry, it's also hascap berry. Hascap is a Japanese word for the honeyberry. This comes from Northern Japan, where it was like a ancient uh, Japanese food for good health and um, good eyesight. So these kind of have a long history to them. With that said, they're high in nutrition. They're really easy for kids to pick. They're like a low bush. You can kind of stick them in anywhere. Just make sure to have a couple different varieties and increase your pollination. So we get in close here on my Woj Tech. This is my, my favorite just because it produces so many berries now and they're really sweet. This, this bush is about six years old. So I've had it in the ground for three years now and it was, I think it was three years when I got it. So it's right in its prime now and it just absolutely cranks out the berries now. And this has been doubling every year since I put it in the ground. And I've noticed the growth on the other ones now is starting to double, but the one next to me, the honeybee here, this one is the first year that it's actually fruited and it's only got a couple. So right here you can see there's one, two, three, three berries on it. They're a lot smaller and these ones are really tart. Um, it's a nice taste though. In general, these berries are sour depending on what variety you get. So they're mostly used for jams, but the, um, the Woj Tech, any of the bigger varieties, they're a lot sweeter, so they're more enjoyable to eat fresh. Now there are some, there's three new varieties. They're called like Boreal Blizzard, Boreal Tundra, whatever, there's three of them that the University of Saskatchewan just developed and released in 2014 to 2016, or 2016, 2018. Um, and so those, those varieties are hardy down to minus 45 degrees Celsius, which I think is minus 49 Fahrenheit. So like you can grow these basically anywhere if you live up in Alaska and Northwest Territories, like anywhere frigid cold, you can grow these berries. Um, most of these, like the varieties I have here and most varieties, they're hardy down to like minus 11, which is about 12 degrees Fahrenheit. And then they still fruit at that level. Um, they are potentially hardier down further, just depending on which variety you have. So if you do live in a Northern climate, somewhere really cold and you want some berries that are low maintenance, they're delicious and they're easy to grow, that would be the honeyberry. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and you learned something, maybe it inspired you to put a honeyberry or you want to, two different varieties in your, in your yard or in your garden. Be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up and until the next episode, have a great day.